Today, we'll figure out who has the best SG sound in the world. Derek Trucks. It's Derek Trucks. Okay. Video over. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Bye. Everyone, the name is Chris. And my name is Guillaume. Hope you're all doing great today. Uh, this is this is a beautiful day for us because we do get to play some guitars that we don't usually play that much, but that we both adore. Oh yes. Worship yes. really is the word. The, the only reason why I don't play an SG every day is that because I don't want people to call me a Derek Trucks ripoff because, <laughs> I, because I like to play slide so much. At but least you have a good enough reason to say that because I just do not understand also, myself. I'm broke. Let's, <laughs> like, let's be honest. <laughs> let's, let's get into that later on, but let's yeah, let's get to the to the subject. Yeah. So today today's video is part of our series as to who's got the best uh, tone. Uh, we did that Insert for Strat. Guitar we did that tone. for yeah, yeah, exactly. Strat, Tele, Les Paul, uh, Hollow Body, Hollow Body as well. Yeah, that's true. So now we're on to the 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 horny uh, the version of the the, the the Les Paul that became the SG. Um, yeah, we, we're a bit, I, I'd, I think it's fair to say that we're a little, little bit less familiar with those guitars yeah. than the previous iterations of that format, but we'll give it a go. The ID stays the same. We'll both have a round each of clean, uh, dirt, super dirt, extra dirt. Uh, or, or, yeah, 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 kind of a thing, like a special bonus round at the end for whatever feels special with that particular yeah. guitar. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, how about you start? You. You, uh, no pressure, Chris. No pressure. Show me your show me your clean tone, and I'll show you mine. I don't know any of those chords. Uh, me neither. It was the guitar, man. I need to get one. Why? I, I... Okay, just describe to the people what you did to yourself. <laughs> <sighs> breathe, Chris. Breathe. <clears throat> I had the amp, the Rev D20, on a completely clean uh, setting, which sounds like this. None of the pedals are on. And I didn't change a lot. All I did is had the Archer on the J-Rocket Archer, which uh, didn't distort a lot, just gave it a little bit of edge and a little bit of kind of an amp style compression, really. That's all. Uh, it just beefens up your tone and gives it a little more of everything, really. And I love that, especially with guitars that have a lot of articulation, and a lot of 
really good mid range that helps to to um, to cut through a mix and to to keep it very uh, well clear whatever you play and I had because I'm me a delay on the starlight uh, for some relatively subtle tape delay and the uh, golden uh, UAFX golden for some spring reverb because the amp doesn't have a, a reverb and if you play alone with a reverb that's just the loneliest thing you could ever do and uh, you should avoid it um, that's it if the amp had reverb I wouldn't have had a pedal on for that obviously so not a lot going on but I, I kind, kind of like to exaggerate those strengths of a guitar or an amp sound that, that just helps to sort of amplify the character of that thing. And if, I, if it's a good guitar, you don't need to do a lot. Yeah, yeah, you sounded good. All right, my turn. <laughs> Apart from it sounding, you know, kind of not too bad, uh, let me ask you something. Is that your uh, <coughs> clean sound for this clean round of comparisons? I feel like this video is going to be very boring for anyone who cares <laughs> about what I do during it, because I, you know, this, this might, like, first off, neck pickup, always and forever. Second, yeah, the, I only had the Archer as well. Like, it's the different, it's the Icon version, but it's, you know, I'm not too far off either from the settings. Yeah, it's, it's it not sounds maxed more out or anything. Uh, but like, yeah, this could be my clean sound. This could be my crone sound. This could almost be my lead sound. I also had the flint on both sides, trem and reverb, but a bit of the echoes by Keeley and going into the clean channel of the generator 120 into the PRS cab sitting right underneath it. Uh, yeah, that was my clean sound. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I feel like... Uh, this is where my uh, my unfamiliarity with the guitar okay. is gonna show the most because I I haven't spent nearly enough time with that beauty to actually I think pull out the best of it. Okay, but well, I, I feel like it's a fair representation for anyone who just getting his first SG as well. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Anywho, oh, and if you're wondering why my uh, fingers look weird, it's because that's open tuning. I yeah. Mean, e yeah. Uh, the thing is that as you were just playing, like fretting yeah. uh, the chords, I felt like, okay, that's just a really pretty sound. And then you started, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. using the slide ring and I was like, oh, 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 come on, why? Why does it sound so perfect? And it's then I immediately understood the guitar choice of a certain blonde guitar player <laughs> who is kind of famous, you know, and knows some stuff. He's pretty good. A little. But yeah, anywho, let's uh, so, let's let's add okay. more gain. Let's see. Yeah, who, let's see uh, who what happens best. if we enter like our kind of crunch, whatever we think of a crunched uh, guitar tone. Yes. And then I want to talk about the guitars first. Yeah. Because you know it's it's still a competition, and you know I have a point to make.
it was hard to avoid ACDC songs, <laughs> but I managed. You did. So what's that guitar you're playing, Chris? All right. So um, this is a 61, a standard production, mm -hmm. uh, made in USA, of course, because yeah. it's a Gibson guitar. Uh, it's a standard production 61 uh, with the Vibrola, yeah. which is something they came out with a few years ago when they started going back to... Uh, redoing that series, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, like yeah. The, the traditional versions of yeah. Les Pauls, SGs and all other models, yeah. which I was really happy about. And sure. this is one of those models that is kind of specced like one of the more expensive guitars. Yeah. But it's less expensive than the more expensive guitars. And it's considerably. Le it's less expensive than standard Les Pauls too. Totally. Like, which is crazy. Totally. Like how this is like the, the full spec 61 yeah. reissue normal production SG. Yeah. And it's what 600 euros less than cheaper than Les Pauls and yeah, for sure. I mean they, they always said the same things, like of course there's not the calf, there's not the, the flame. No top binding, or what, and, no, yeah. not the binding, binding on the body, not yeah. whatever. It's like, yeah, I get it. Still though, sound wise, if that's what you're looking for. You're not sacrificing anything, anything at I all. Think you, it's I just, think you have a lot to gain. For, I will get back on that after my, oh, uh, yes. after oh, my yes. little uh, crunchy I also snip. want to talk about like this phenomenon, this SG thing. And well, it's, I have some weird things to say and uh, I'm looking forward do. to you <laughs> destroying <Right>. my... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, give me crunch. Yes, sir. <laughs> You get extra points for, for the, the behind. behind. Like, I barely behind had that. enough space. Like I would have had to remove the truss cover to go deep enough. <laughs> like, cause that's like. <laughs> like you have to extra push it. Almost hey, goes. It's almes exactly half a note. It's yeah. Like, almost cool. goes to pitch. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was the Royal Flush, both sides of the Royal Flush by VS Audio. And, uh, and that guitar, that guitar, which is fairly substantially more uh, expensive than Chris's guitar. This is, uh, th this is basically the same thing. This is the same <laughs> instrument. Yeah, if you, if you just take a look at these, it's like, yeah, what? Except that One this, is brown uh, and yeah. less shiny, but... This bad boy got the Murphy Lab uh, treatment to it. So a uh, bit of aging, uh, not massive. I mean, it shows a lot more on the hardware. Uh, obviously the back of a bit like I think this is still considered like heavy yeah. uh, age yeah. by uh, by Murphy Lab but yeah uh, phenomenal guitar plays plays really really well obviously different price points uh, this is completely unrealistic for myself and I want to say most people uh, but you know when you get the chance why not yeah we we have the benefits of sitting here pretty much on top of one of the yeah. sweetest warehouses in the world so uh, if you can, why wouldn't you? Uh, the thing is that when we were choosing these guitars, <laughs> we, we had a middleman. <laughs> we told Lucas, our video guy, like, okay, we both tell you what we choose and you let us know if we chose the same SG. If yeah. yes, let's avoid it. And we didn't want to know each other's guitars. We just saw, like I saw G's guitars, uh, guitar in the room before we started shooting yeah. the video. So uh, we both chose the same guitar. Just different colors. I chose a <laughs> palm blue version of that 64. Yeah. <laughs> and he chose that one. And it's like, okay, okay, fair enough. Um, I was not disappointed to choose a less expensive one. Oh, for sure not. It's at all. So good. But of course, seeing that, it's like I that really appeals to me because but you'll I love get the that. visuals. Give it 50 but years. Yeah, exactly. You'll be there you as can well. <laughs> also be uh, more patient and take one of these and uh, just play it like. 20,000 hours, yeah. and then you'll get that. Um, 
This is such a good guitar, though. It I is. have to say, like, it really is. I didn't play that one yet, and I'm afraid of you playing it because because <laughs> the necks are very different. I can tell that's more of a full C, and this is more of a uh, an SG kind of D it's a profile, trunk, not yeah, it's not a thin, neck. but you know, it's a, a medium neck. Let's put it this way, which is really comfortable. Uh, so I'm not complaining at all, and this sounds magical. Let's let's gain it up. It's, see, see, it's that right mid-range. Yeah, it's, it's, just it's so the thing that you keep saying about tellies, but that's not true, but it's true for <laughs> SGs. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I know what you mean, though. Yeah. In many ways, I feel like SGs are the tellies of humbucker guitars. I've, I've said it a few minutes ago yeah. before we started shooting this video, and I tell you why. Because, first of all, it does have some tally characters because it does have that right kind of uh, frequency range that's that's the perfect range for guitar players yeah. because no other instrument will possess that frequency range. Second of all, it's just so articulate and so clear that you can't even play singer coily stuff on yeah. an SG, yeah. uh, which where like an ES or especially a Les Paul would struggle because it's just too too sweet sounding. And it's this it, is like percussive Paul, like hell. That's the first thing that struck me when I plugged that one in is like how how Fast, uh, right? It's it's quick, Immediate. it's direct. It's a, I, I felt like it was less compressed, and I yeah. felt like it was you know. But that it's a sweet compression. It's a compression that oh. you want in a less Paul, and people are gonna say, yeah, just swap the pickups and, it, eh, and calm no, down, no. calm down, chill. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like I feel like this is still less compressed and uh, and a little bit more open and dynamic. Very uh, snappy tone. In a way. Yeah. And then the second thing is why I think this is kind of a, a tally of humbucker guitars is because it's the second most beloved or most bought instrument from a brand. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like a Les Paul is That's like true. the Gibson and SG is like, yeah, there are a lot of players Close who also second. play SGs, but it's the Les Paul is the Les Paul. It's a little bit similar with Strats and Tellies where most people will say, oh, Strat, it's such a sweet tone. And a Telly is like, you have to know what to do with a Telly to really make it sound good and that's that's this adventure that's so exciting about it and i have the same feeling about an sg is that i feel like there's so much in this guitar so much more than what you would expect from a humbucker guitar like as you know as if it, that was not enough but it can do a lot more than really nice rock really nice blues and you know warm humbuckery kind of clean tones you can make it sound like anything. It's so cool. Well, I'm going to make mine sound gainy. Please. <laughs> Seventeen drive pedals on, and he still tries to clean up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dummy, just cannot leave it. Just cannot leave it. <laughs> Anywho, I like that. It's chunky. It's very chunky. I like again. I think the lack of compression, like inherent compression in the guitar, is the one thing that allows me to be on neck pickup with three drives on both sides of the uh, Royal Flush and the Archer. FYI. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and you know pretty gained up like all of it then it still like retains the clarity even in the neck position uh and yeah i just love that and i'm not done with uh, gain 
Just not. <laughs> I have some. Uh, more. I have the, the teaser. I got some more pedals on there. Anywho, yeah, yeah I, 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 I just really liked it. Thoroughly enjoyed that. I tried to ignore the fact that I really liked it, <laughs> but I can't. That's fine. You've <laughs> lost the previous four contests, so you know. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. I suggest you guys go back and rewatch all four of them, and, uh, and and you know, let me know. Type in the comments. Just confirm why I won. Confirm like, for which specific reason. All right, let's do one extra round just for. Uh, okay, uh, the the no rules rounds. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, well whether it's fuzz it's always or fuzz. <laughs> the no rules round, yeah, it's oh, it better I, be a fuzz. Always fuzz. <laughs> Go for it. Of course. <laughs> Well, that puts me in a pickle. <laughs> pickle? I assumed we were. I can picture you in a. I assumed we were going to play fuzz. Yes. Uh, and now you. Just, uh, now you, you, know, you. To put you off. Dotted track. egg your way into something weird and complicated. The thing is that uh, if a humbucker and a guitar with a humbucker has that kind of pop, yeah. like, like really snappy tone, I just. I tend to play with less gain. My. Uh, my reaction, exactly. Okay, gotcha. No way. With That's the tone all the tone way down. On zero. <laughs> no way. And I was expecting to use more pedals than that, but it was actually just the small box and the, the, the park first sound, the okay. uh, Earthquaker devices version. No way. <gasps> That's the tone on zero. Seriously. Look, look. Okay, could have could checkmate. Have, that, checkmate. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but I was expecting uh, weird things to happen. But yeah, it's not our place to decide. Obviously, uh, you guys will tell us who had the best SG sound. As usual, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a mix of like my first sound and then your. And then clean all sound. the others were mine. Come on. 
Anywho, let's not forget about the fact that my clean sound was actually almost actually clean. Mine too. Almost. Like, usually I have at least two drives on. This time I only had one. So, <laughs> see? It's a de development. Learn, it's learn and, uh, and live, <laughs> live and learn. And yeah, anywho, you guys let us know in the comment section who uh, you think won that SG challenge. Let us know what you think of those videos. Do you want to see more? And if so, with which, which guitar? Yeah, which guitar uh, are you interested in? and also there's one more thing. We are going to be shooting with these SGs, or at least one of those. Um, just going to be a sound guide kind of thing. Oh, true. Yeah, uh, we're doing those so too. Stick around, uh, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that video. It's going to come up very soon, and that's going to be all about how to get the most kind of sounds out of an SG. By Surprise. then, we'll be specialists. <laughs> And if we're not, we'll do the video anyways. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to, if you don't want to miss out on that one. Click the bell. Uh, Leave a comment below. Yeah, that, that would that'd be, be nice. the best. That'd be out nice. of all Because we're there. We're in the comment section. We'll also be there in the next video. But we're there. We're right now. Everywhere. As you are, we are secretly. Secretly. <laughs> Behind <laughs> my back. I'm there. Goodbye. Any. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.